Hello internet people, welcome to my channel, Wandering Bobbin. My name is Katie and I have a very exciting video for you today. Today we are going to be planning our wardrobe for a trip to Cape Town, South Africa. Oh wait, let me back up a little bit. Actually, I should probably start with How's it, my internet people? Today I'm going to share with you my inspiration for the Sew for Goal 2024 challenge. Sew for Goal is an Instagram challenge hosted by Sam from Frugalissima and Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. They have been hosting it for a couple years now. I want to say maybe four. I've been making videos th for three of the years. And the idea behind the challenge is really to inspire sewists to explore the world of free patterns and discover new pattern designers that you may not have heard of or sewn with before. So I'm here today to help inspire you and I am one of about 60 sewing YouTubers who are making inspiration videos um, for you to help you get ideas and help get the creative juices flowing. Every day there are two vloggers uploading videos and today is my day along with Stephanie from Stephanie Farrell Focus. And yesterday was Tanya from Just Let Me Sew and Mary Ellen from She Sews Happiness. And tomorrow will be Agata from In Agata's Closet and Sarah from So Sarah Style. So, 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 so make sure to go and check out their videos. I'll make sure to link all of their channels down below. There is going to be so much inspiration after watching all these videos. You're probably never going to need to buy another sewing pattern ever again, especially if you include all of the videos from previous years. Anyways, first, let me tell you about the challenge quickly. The challenge has four simple rules. Um, number one, find a free garment pattern that is available to everyone. Tops, pants, skirts, dresses, children, men's wear, whatever. So number two, sew fabric only from your stash. Um, it doesn't have to be traditional fabric. You can get creative with curtains, your sheets, your duvet cover, whatever. Number three, make it in the month of March. Number four, reveal your garment on March 31st on Instagram and make sure to use the hashtag sew for goal 24 and tag Sam and Ruan. Um, you can also post your project pics with the hashtag SewFrugalWhip, W-I-P, but your official entry is March 31st with the hashtag SewFrugal24. So that is the scoop on the challenge. Now let me tell you how I will be inspiring you today. Last year for my Sew Frugal inspiration video, we took an imaginary trip to the south of France and I had a great time in my head and I showed you some outfits that you could wear for different activities on our trip using, of course, free patterns and fabrics from my stash. Um, I had so much fun making that video. It was just so much fun. So I decided I wanted to do it again this year. And so this year we will be traveling to Cape Town, South Africa. So imagine you're going on vacation probably around this time next year. We need time to plan. So maybe January, February, 2025, you're going to Cape Town and it's gonna be summer there, peak season, it's gonna be hot. Um, and of course, what else would we actually do in the next year to prepare besides sew our own travel wardrobe? Now, we don't need to worry about the details and the fact that none of us are actually going to Cape Town. Um, but actually, if you are going to Cape Town, this is a very fortuitous video for you. Um, great timing, actually. <laughs> um, but anyways, we don't need to worry about that. We are thick and big and imagining all of the beautiful things that we can make to wear in beautiful Cape Town. And maybe this will inspire you to make a little something for whatever plans you do have coming up. So anyways, I have gone through my fabric cupboard, I've picked out some fabrics, and I've matched them up with some free patterns I found on the internet to create a few outfits to wear on our trip. For the record, I've never been to Africa, and I've never been to South Africa or Cape Town, so... I hope these outfits kind of work, but we're all just pretending anyway, aren't we, or are we? 
Okay, so let's set the stage. We step off our flight. It's late. We've been traveling for a very long time from the United States, potentially 24 to 36 hours. We're totally exhausted, but it's totally going to be worth it. So let's have a good night's rest and then we will wake up tomorrow and hit the ground running. So we wake up in beautiful Cape Town and we decide we've been sitting on a plane for so long that we need some exercise. So we're going to go to Table Mountain National Park. There's a bunch of different things you can do in the national park, but first we're going to go for a hike up to the top. Of Table Mountain so we can see the views and get our bearings and if you're not into hiking you can also take an aerial tram up to the top to see the views. Now I don't actually have any active wear in my stash so I can't show you any options for that but after we see the city from above there are some really great beaches um, within the, the park I believe to go to so we're gonna have a relaxing beach afternoon. So we need a little beach cover-up outfit. I thought it might be cute to pair this leafy botanical organic double gauze with the Elbe Zero Waste Robe and the Wardrobe By Me Easy Shorts for a little matching set. And it's perfect because you can wear your swimsuit underneath um, but still be covered up when you want to be either on top or bottom. Okay, I can't find a really good picture of this robe finish. So we're just gonna have to sort of imagine what it looks like based off the one image that I do have. Basically, it's a bunch of rectangles. So I think we can kind of imagine what that's supposed to look like. It's basically your classic robe over layer situation. Um, the construction, super simple. Like I said, it's just a bunch of rectangles. Um, and we can adjust, I think we can adjust the sizes um, by changing the size of the rectangles to make it however long or short we want it. I think the pattern is for a pretty long robe, but I'm thinking maybe like hip length or shorter would definitely be cute. Um, definitely not like super long and flowing. That's going to just be too much um, fabric for the look I'm going for. I love that it's zero waste because this fabric was kind of expensive. So it would be really cool to be able to use all of it up with no scraps. That would just be so neat. So out of the same fabric, the wardrobe by me easy shorts. I think these would be a great little match for the robe. Um, they're just basically little shorts with an elastic waist, standard leg, just exactly what you would imagine from a pair of shorts. Um, and in this double gauze, they'll just be loose, breezy, cool, comfortable, just perfect. They'll be perfect for the beach and for the hot weather. And I would even consider lengthening them just like a tad to wherever is most comfortable because we know it's not like super comfortable to walk around in like little shorty short shorts. So I would probably do that. Okay, so the pattern doesn't seem to be on their website anymore, but there is a YouTube tutorial for them. Um, and that YouTube tutorial has a link to download the pattern. And then the download has the instructions as well as the video for the tutorial. The size ranges from two extra small to four extra large, which is 24 and a half to 42 and three fourths inch waist. And if you're not interested in going to the beach, I'm just gonna tell you there is also a penguin colony inside the national park. And I think this would just be a great outfit to wear to see the penguins. Okay, it's the next day and today we're gonna do some sightseeing and wandering around the city. So we need a comfortable sightseeing outfit um, walking around outfit. And first, we're going to wander around Bocop. Bocop is the former Cape Malay area of Cape Town, and it's known for its multicolored Cape Dutch houses. It has a long, rich Muslim history and culture, and it has had a very complex history for over 300 years. Lots of stuff to learn about that. Um, some of the terraced houses are amongst the oldest in Cape Town, and it's actually the one of the oldest neighborhoods in all of South Africa that still exists. So, sounds like a cool place to visit. 
So we're going to take in the sights, um, wander around the colorful neighborhoods. There is a Bocop museum. There's a mosque to visit, a historic cemetery, lots of things to see and learn about. And of course, we're definitely going to have to seek out some authentic Cape Malay traditional food for lunch. So for these activities, I thought the Fabric Store Chelsea Linen Raglan Tea paired with the Fabric Store Alexandra Moroccan Pants would be a very cute little outfit. The fabric store patterns are completely free, but you have to register with the website to download them. And I thought both the top and the pants could be made out of the same fabric. Um, this olive green linen to make kind of a um, like monochromatic outfit. Now this is the Brussels Washer Linen Rayon Blend. I bought it from Stylemaker Fabrics. So the raglan tee is a great, basic, versatile pattern. The bust ranges from 33 to 48 inches. And the Alexandra pants, they have an elastic waist, of course, perfect for traveling. They're looser fitting, breathable, very comfortable for walking around. So apparently this was one of Fabric Store's earlier patterns and it was released without a size chart. Um, they have a small table on the actual pattern of the finished garment measurements for the hip, which range from 42 inches to 52 inches, but there's not really a lot of size guidance. So there you go. Anyways, together I'm imagining this cute outfit with maybe like a crossbody bag or like a belt bag and some like comfortable white sneakers and like maybe a hat since it's going to be hot. And I think that would be really cute and functional for the day. Plus, Olive is basically a neutral. So I think it would be very cute um, to take pictures in front of all the colorful houses in and get your Instagram snaps. Next up, it's time for wine tasting. We can't skip the wine tasting. Constantia is a historic winemaking region in the southern suburbs of Cape Town, and it is known for being the birthplace of the South African winemaking industry. Uh, it has tons of beautiful, gorgeous, estates, some of the country's oldest estates. Many of the vineyards and estates are close together, so we can hop between them without too much difficulty. Um, so a day, so for a day of wine tasting, I thought we could dress up a little bit in a cute little dress. I thought the Mood Society Rosalie shirt dress would be a good option paired with this art gallery floral print. And I think this combination would just be an adorable choice for wine tasting. It feels very festive to me. And I think it'll be really pretty amongst the greenery of these states and the vineyards. I think the shirt dress is a good basic classic shirt dress and it's simple. So I think it'll let the pattern of the fabric shine through, but it's interesting enough to not be boring. There's just something about a shirt dress that I think is so chic. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. The bust ranges from 31 inches to 59 and a half inches. And this fabric, like I said, is an art gallery fabric. It's the Kismet Cut Flower in the Color of Favor. Um, it's technically a quilting poplin. So it's 100% cotton and for quilting, but I think you can definitely get away with making a garment out of it. Um, it doesn't really feel like quilting cotton to me, it feels much more worthy of a garment. So I have one more idea to show you. The Constantia Wine Valley is actually really close to the Kirsten Bosch Botanical Gardens. So I propose we go have a wine tasting day and we stay overnight in like a cute little Airbnb or like a cute little hotel in the area and then go to the Botanical Gardens the next day on our way back into the main part of Cape Town. And I heard the Botanical Gardens are a really nice place to have a picnic. I think we should get some little bites um, for a cute little picnic, maybe like a brunch picnic, and then head back towards the city center. So for our outfit, I think we should rewear the olive linen Alexander pants and pair it with the Tiana's Closet Agnes ruffle top in this cotton jersey butterfly knit fabric because what goes better with a botanical garden than a butterfly print? I mean, it's perfect. The Agnes ruffle top, uh, like I said, is a knit pattern. It has a size range 31 and a half to 
47.2 inches bust. It has a ruffle detail around the neckline, a notched collar, and then this little gathered portion in the center that creates like a flowy waist. And along with comfort, we love a flowy waist. So I just really like tops that have these cute little details because even though we are re-wearing a pair of pants and we probably feel a little disheveled from living out of a suitcase, pairing this pattern and fabric together makes it feel a little bit more special. So those are all my outfit ideas. I think you could do some really nice mixing and matching for different outfits with the double gauze and the linen. Maybe wear the robe with the Alexander pants or the Chelsea tee with the double gauze shorts. I also have this white linen. Um, and so you could make any of these probably out of the white linen and have like a neutral to pair them all up with. So that is my little capsule summer travel wardrobe, all free patterns, all paired with fabric that I already have in my stash. I tried to really diversify my choices of where the free patterns come from because honestly between mood and the fabric store you could probably find anything and everything you ever need. They have so many free patterns. But I wanted to try and include some other sources for free patterns as well. Before I go, I also wanted to make sure I mentioned there are prizes for this challenge. Um, the winners are picked at random, so it's not like a contest. And there are so many this year. Let me put up some of the sponsors on the screen here. So you kind of actually have a pretty good chance of winning something, depending on how many people actually enter. So that is all I have for you today. I hope I have helped inspire you to take part in the challenge. I think it's gonna be really fun to see what everyone comes up with on the reveal day. I don't actually know what I'm gonna make yet. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of making. Do you have any trips planned or events you wanna sew for in the next while? Also, make sure to check out all of the other vloggers making inspiration videos for the challenge. You can search hashtag SoFrugal24 in the YouTube search bar to find all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Happy sewing, and I will see you in the next one.